Welcome to Sandhya Lessons. Class 4 Maths Semester 2 Chapter 5 Multiplication In this video, let us complete the worksheets 8 to 13. Vakitin inchu 8 varku worksheet la video link description box lo evadan jargindi. Nalugu aidu taragatruku samaninchina English, Maths, EVS worksheet la video la kosam. Channel no subscribe chess kundi. Worksheet 8. First Roman, find the given products and color the answer in the grid given below. See what you get. Let us find the products of the given multiplications and then color the grid. Worksheet 9 First Roman, find the products. The given multiplications are A problem 352 multiplied with 16 gives 5632 428 multiplied with 17 gives 7276 536 into 18 is equals to 9648. 248 into 23 is equals to 5704. 306 into 23 is equals to 7038. 420 into 23 is equals to 9660. 209 into 34 is equals to 7106. 247 into 34 is equals to 8,398. Second Roman, fill in the given boxes with appropriate digits. 325 multiplied with 15. When 325 multiplied with 5, we get 1,625. And 325 multiplied with 1, we get 325. After adding both, we get 4875. Therefore, 325 multiplied with 15 gives 4875. B problem. 435 multiplied with 17. By multiplying 435 with 7, we get 3045. By multiplying 435 with 1, we get 435. After adding both, we get 7,395. Therefore, 435 multiplied with 17 gives 7,395. C problem. 320 multiplied with 24. By multiplying 324, we get 1,280. By multiplying 320 with 2, we get 640. By adding both, we get 7,680. Therefore, 320 multiplied with 24 gives 7680. Third Roman, find the product. A problem, 467 multiplied with 14. We can multiply 467 with 14 by expanding. 467. Expanded form of 467 is 400 plus 60 plus 7. Expanded form of 14 is 10 plus 4. Therefore, after multiplication, we get 6538. 467 multiplied with 14 gives 6538. B problem. 632 multiplied with 16. Expanded form of 632 is 600 plus 30 plus 2. Expanded form of 16 is 10 plus 6. After multiplication, we get 10,112. Therefore, 632 multiplied with 16 is equals to 10,112. Worksheet 10 First problem, the cost of 1 meter Pondur cotton cloth is... 294 rupees. How much amount is required to buy 29 meters of such cloth? Solution. Cost of 1 meter cloth is equals to 294 rupees. Cost of 29 meters cloth. We can get this by multiplying 
cost of 1 meter cloth with 29 that is 294 rupees multiplied with 29 gives 8526 rupees therefore cost of 29 meters cloth is equals to 8526 rupees Second problem, a bag contains 65 kgs of rice. Find the weight of 118 such bags. Solution, weight of one bag of rice is equals to 65 kgs. Number of bags is equals to 118. Weight of 118 bags, we can get this by multiplying 118 with the Weight of one bag that is 118 multiplied with 65 kgs that is equals to 7670 kgs. Therefore, weight of 118 bags is equals to 7670 kgs. Third problem a total of 146 students are studying in Mulagapudi Primary School. Each student paid 30 rupees for the flood relief fund. Find the total amount collected. Solution, number of students in the school is equals to 146. The amount given by each student is equals to 30 rupees. Total amount collected is equals to, we can get this by multiplying a total number of students with the amount given by each student. That is 146 multiplied with 30 gives 4380. Therefore, total amount collected is equals to 4,380 rupees. Fourth problem. A machine in a factory produces 398 toys every day. How many toys will it produce in 23 days? Solution. Number of toys produced per day is equals to 398. Number of days is equals to 23. Number of toys produced in 23 days, we can get this by multiplying uh, toys produced per day with 23, that is 398 multiplied with 23, we get 9154. Total number of toys produced in 23 days is equals to 9154. Fifth problem, a truck can carry 354 gunny bags. How many gunny bags can be carried by 28 such trucks? Solution. Number of bags carried by a truck is equals to 354. Number of trucks is equals to 28. Total number of bags carried by 28 trucks. We can get this by multiplying number of bags carried by a truck with number of trucks. That is 354 multiplied with 28 gives 9912. Therefore, total number of bags carried by 28 trucks is equals to 9,912. Worksheet 11 First Roman, find the products. Given multiplications are 295 multiplied with 34 is equals to 10,030. 386 into 45 gives 17,370 468 multiplied with 53 gives 24,804 506 multiplied with 54 gives 27,324 Second Roman Fill the given boxes with appropriate digits A problem 365 multiplied with 45 by multiplying 365 with 5, we get 1825. By multiplying 365 with 4, we get 1460. After adding both, we get 16425. That is, 365 multiplied with 45 gives 16425. B problem. 306 multiplied with 38. 306 multiplied with 8 gives 2448. 306 multiplied with 3 gives 918. After adding we get 11,628. Therefore, 306 multiplied with 38 gives 11,628. C problem. 803 multiplied with 56. By multiplying 803 with 6 we get 4,818. 
by multiplying 803 with 5 we get 4015 after adding we get 44968 therefore 803 multiplied with 56 gives 44968 third roman check the following multiplications for correctness if not correct correct them a problem 506 multiplied with 35 by multiplying 506 with 35 we get 17710 this is correct b problem 469 multiplied by 46 by multiplying 469 with 46 we get 21574 So the given multiplication is not correct. C problem: five hundred twenty multiplied with fifty-eight. Five hundred twenty-one multiplied with fifty-eight gives thirty thousand one hundred sixty. So the given multiplication was not correct. Worksheet twelve. First problem. With the advice of their class teacher, eighty-five students of class donated one hundred twenty-five rupees each for the CM relief fund. How much did they collect all together? Solution: Number of students is equals to eighty-five. Amount donated by each student is equals to one hundred twenty-five rupees. Total amount collected. We can get this by multiplying amount donated by each student with the total number of students. That is, one hundred twenty-five rupees multiplied with eighty-five. After multiplying, we get ten thousand six hundred twenty-five. Therefore, total amount collected is equals to ten thousand six hundred twenty-five rupees. Second problem: One basket contains two hundred sixty-eight tomatoes. How many tomatoes are contained in thirty-six such baskets? Solution: Number of tomatoes contained in one basket is equals to two hundred sixty-eight. Number of baskets is equals to thirty-six. Total number of tomatoes in thirty-six baskets. We can get this by multiplying number of tomatoes contained in one basket with total number of baskets. That is two hundred sixty-eight multiplied with thirty-six gives nine thousand six hundred forty-eight. Therefore, total number of tomatoes in thirty-six baskets is equals to nine thousand six hundred forty-eight. Third problem: Lingaya was a bangle seller and sold bangles at thirty-six rupees per dozen. In the month of March, he sold two hundred eighty-seven dozens of bangles. How much money did he get? Solution: Cost of one dozen bangles is equals to thirty-six rupees. Number of dozens sold is equals to two hundred eighty-seven. Total money he got, we can get this by multiplying number of dozens sold with the cost of one dozen bangles. That is two hundred eighty-seven multiplied with thirty-six rupees, we get ten thousand three hundred thirty-two. Therefore, total money he got is equals to ten thousand three hundred thirty-two rupees. Fourth problem. Sambaya produced 36 jazzery blocks through sugarcane harvesting. He sold each jazzery block at 680 rupees. How much money did he earn? Solution: Number of jazzery blocks is equals to 36. Cost of one jazzery block is equals to 680 rupees. Total money he earned by selling 36 blocks. We can get this by multiplying cost of one jazzery block with Number of jazzery blocks that is six hundred eighty rupees multiplied with thirty six gives twenty four thousand four hundred eighty rupees. Therefore, total money he earned by selling thirty six blocks is equals to twenty four thousand four hundred eighty rupees. Fifth problem: Appa Rao distributed sixty four school bags to orphan children on the occasion of his birthday. If he bought each bag at two hundred forty-five rupees, how much money did he spend on bags? Solution: Number of bags distributed is equals to sixty-four. Cost of one bag is equals to two hundred forty-five rupees. Total money spent on bags is equals to. We can get this by multiplying cost of one bag with total number of bags distributed. That is two hundred forty-five rupees multiplied with sixty-four gives. Fifteen thousand six hundred eighty rupees. Therefore, total money spent on bags is equals to fifteen thousand six hundred eighty rupees. 
worksheet 13 first roman circle the multiples of 2 among the following numbers multiples of 2 among the given numbers are 2 4 14 20 68 second roman circle the multiples of 5 among the following numbers multiples of 5 among the given numbers are 15 20 30 35 and 45 third roman identify the multiples of 7 in the following numbers multiples of 7 from the following numbers are 7 21 63 35 fourth roman identify the multiples of 9 in the following numbers multiples of 9 from the given numbers are 18 27 36 and 45 fifth roman multiply and complete the table chart let us complete the given table chart write the following by observing the above table a question multiples of 3 are 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 30 b question multiples of 7 are 7 14 21 28 35 42 49 56 63 70 multiples of 9 are 9 18 27 36 45 54 63 72 81 90 multiples of 10 are 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 thank you for watching